It's five years since we came here the first time. Then I was 65 years old. Can you guess which age I am now? <laughs> Yesterday I was together with the young people here. <laughs> and they sang to me an Ararat song. <laughs> you took it on uh, the mobile and I will show it on my birthday this summer. I, I thought much about uh, being older this year. I grew up as a child in a Christian home. Yes, But many of my friends who were Christians that at that time are not Christians anymore. So it is God's love that I can say I am a Christian today. He has taken care of me by his word. And it is so important to come together and listen to God's word. It's a quell of our spiritual life. Uh, so it's fine to see you all, young and older. We shall read one verse from Acts 2 today. The situation is, in Jerusalem, the Holy Spirit had come and they were gathered together, people from all over the world, is said. And they listened and heard the gospel in their own languages. And they could not understand what had happened. Then you can read the 11th verse. Today, God is praised in very many languages. When the sun came up in Japan, there was someone there I saw on Facebook praising God. And as the sun goes, God is praised from different countries in the world. That's the Holy Spirit who has uh, broken borders. And the first border which is mentioned in Acts is the language border. We sat here and could not understand Armenian, but we know God understands. And on the uh, <coughs> Pentecost day, the Spirit of God wanted to show that the Gospel is for all languages. Was a symbolic act. In, during the acts, we see many such borders being crossed. We see ethnic borders crossed. That was not easy for Peter and the, and the first apostles. Shall I go into a non-Jew's home to preach the gospel? 
Արցակ պետք է գնամ ոչ հրիայի տուն քարոզելու։ And God showed him by a sight that yes, you shall. Ես պետրոսին տեսիքի միջոցով աստված ցույց տվես, որ այո, դու պետք է գնաս։ You shall cross the border between Jews and Gentiles. դու պետք է քանդես այդ սահմանը հրիաների եւ հեթանոսների միջև։ That's one of the meanings by Pentecost. Դա հոգեգալստի իմաստներից մեկն է։ To cross the meaning the borders between ethnic groups. Քանդել այդ սահմանները ազգային ազգերի միջև։ With this gospel from heaven to Jesus. Հիսուսի միջոցով ու իր ավետարանի միջոցով։ And so we see geographic borders being crossed. Մենք տեսնում ենք նաև աշխարհագրական սահմաններ։ In the beginning they crossed some places within Israel and Antioquia and so such is that area. Մենք տեսնում ենք ավետարանի մեջ, որ Հրեաստանի տարբեր քաղաքներ էին գնում ու նաև Անտիոքում, այսինքն շրջում էին, անցնում էին սահմանները։ But in Antioquia in in Syria. Անտիոքում Սիրիայում the first sending of a missionary was being uh, is written down about the first sending. Ու առաջին հենց այդպես որ ուղարկում են միսիոներության հենց Սիրիայ ու Անտիոքեն ուղարկում։ Paul and Barnabas had got the calling to cross geographical borders. Բողոսն ու Բարնաբասը կարծես կանչ տացան որպիսի հատեն շրեն այդ աշխարհական սահմանները։ They went by boat to Kypros. Նավով գնացին Կիպրոս։ That was the first uh, geographic border being crossed. Դա առաջին այդպես աշխարհական սահմանն էր, որ հատվեց։ And since that time, the Christianity has crossed new and new and new borders. Ու քրիստոնեությունը ժամանակից սկսած արդեն շատ 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 սահմաններ է հատում։ And also culture, cultural borders was crossed and must be crossed. Մշակութային այդպես սահմաններ արքերքներ են քանդվում եւ այլի պիտի քանդվեն։ The acts tell many much about borders of cultural character. Ու գործ քառակելոցում են սրա մասին շատ է խոսվում։ For instance in the home place of Timotheus. Օրինակ Տիմոթեոսի հայրենիքի մասին։ In Lystra. 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 There Paul and Barnabas came into came into a very different culture. Պողոսն ու Բարդաբասը շատ ուրիշ մի մշակույթի մեջ էին հայտնվել։ And they had religious thoughts about many things. Ու տարբեր այդպես մտքեր էին ունենում։ And because Paul and Barnabas did a wonder, they thought they are gods. Ու երբ որ Պողոսն ու Բարդաբասը հրաշ կատարեց, հրաշ գործեցին, մարդիկ մտածեցին որ իրենք աստվածներ են։ A very special history. Շատ հետաքրքիր պատմություն է։ But Paul stood there and said, "We are not gods; we are people, just as you." Պես բողոսը կանգնեց ու ասաց, որ մենք աստվածներ չենք, ձեզ նման մարդիկ ենք։ There are cultural borders, but on each side of those borders there are people. Կան այսպես մշակութային սահմաններ, բայց սահմանը երկու կողմերում էլ կան մարդիկ, նույն տիպի մարդիկ։ And the gospel of Jesus is going to cross all such borders too. ու աստծո խոսքը այսպեսի բոլոր սահմանները պիտի քանդի։ And also social borders was crossed. Սոցիալական այդպես ինչ որ արքելքներ։ Have you heard about Onesimus in the letter to Philemon? Onesimus մասին ցած կրնեք Փիլիմոնի նամակից։ He was a slave. Նա ստրուկ էր։ And was in in prison. Ու բանտում էր։ And Paul were there was there and talked to him. Ու պողոսներ էր նույն բանտում ու խոսեց իր հետ։ Because in his heart it was a, a burning for every people, both King Agrippa and the, social, uh, the slave Onesimus. Որովհետև պողոսի սիրտը բոլորի համար էր ցավում եւ թակավոր Ագրիպասի համար եւ այդ ստրուկի համար։ God wants the gospel to be crossed both up to Agrippa and down to Onesimus because they are so in God's sight on the same level. For Astochoskhe uh, բոլորի համար է ու ինքն ուզում է հավասարապես թե թակավորին հասնի իր խոսքը թե ստրուկին որովհետև նրանք աստծո աչքում հավասար են I am from a mission movement in Norway Yes Norvega ինչ որ նորվեգական միսիոնարական խմբից եմ We had the possibility God gave us the possibility to cross different borders 
Yesterday I said I will, will say something about a girl in Mongolia. She had never heard about Christianity before. After Soviet time, she and her family was very Buddhistic. But her sister came into contact with Christian missionaries. And then she heard about Jesus. And it began to be a, a quarrel inside her. One night she had a dream. She saw Jesus and Buddha quarreling. It was very special. And so she said, I had to pray. She prayed to Buddha, asked him, if you are the truth, if you are uh, from uh, God, please uh, help me to forget Jesus. And so he prayed, she prayed to Jesus, if you are the Son of God and if you are the truth, help me to forget Buddha. Some days later, she was together with her father at the Buddhistic temple. And when she saw on the wall, there was ordinarily many Buddhistic prayers there. But she saw only very white wall, special lightning from the wall. She thought, she, am I blind? Is it a problem with my eyes? Or what is it? Have they taken away those prayers? Her father came from another room and she asked him, do you, do you see the, the prayers there? Oh yes, he said. Yeah, the same then I understood. Jesus had answered my prayer. And he helped me to forget those prayers from my childhood. So I cannot remember any prayer in, Bud in Buddhistic prayer. Then I said to Jesus, she said, she said, Hallelujah, Jesus. And so she began to go to the church and uh, got into contact with Norwegian missionaries and heard more about the great deeds which is told about him. That's one history of many. We heard so, such uh, histories also from Syria. Some Muslims have dreams. And afterwards they ask Christians, what is it? That's the gospel crossing borders. But we must say something about the theme of the Pentecost. They heard them preach about God's deeds. Christianity is not primarily moral. Christianity is about what God has done through Christ. That's the center. We hear them preach about what God has done. Christianity must not be the foremost 
what I shall do, but it is what God has done. Because Christianity has to do with Jesus. And through Jesus, God has done something which is relevant for every person on earth. Even what is what was happened to Jesus on the cross was God's work. You must read 23, the verse 23, from the same chapter. God not only saw beforehand what would happen, it was a, a, a part of his plan that those people should bring Christ to the cross. I got once a letter from a young boy in Norway who, who crucified Christ. Was it Pilatus? Was it the Jews? Was it what it uh, uh, heathens? So I had to, to I had to uh, read or quote this verse. God saw beforehand and also had uh, the the plan of what should happen to Jesus. So God used the cruel things in his plan for the world. And therefore Christian <laughs> And therefore Paul calls Christianity the message of the cross. <laughs> And about the resurrection. What's uh, more here in the text uh, in uh, chapter 2 about the resurrection and the ascension of Jesus? All this is God's uh, wonderful deeds. And when the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit had come, uh, <coughs> Those things about Jesus was the theme. The Spirit was to, uh, to uh, show Jesus for us, to glorify Him. That happens on the Pentecost day. On a, a small mountain at at an island in Norway. Uh, a farmer has put up a cross on the top. You can see it from the boats outside the island. And some tourists try to go up there and see that observe that cross. And, and the text on the cross is for you. That makes the great things God has done to a gospel. It is for you, Who, whoever you are. God has done great things for you. In uh, verse 21, uh, Paul quotes, uh, Peter quotes from the Old Testament. Much of the preaching is quotations from the Old Testament. Uh, 
And here both the prophet Joel and Peter sum up. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Uh, everyone Amen. who calls on him on Jesus who died on the cross who rose up again who is there at the Father's right hand who is praying for us as Christians whoever calls on him shall be saved uh, last Sunday we were in Sweden and on the way home we were, we were in the church and uh, the pastor there we know him and he told I don't know if it was because we were there but he told about a, a Norseman a, Nor a Norwegian he came from Norway to Sweden as a Huh? Trump. Trump. <coughs> and he met some Christians in Sweden. And he said to them, a, a Christian leader in Norway said to me, no hope for you. And many years he had thought, no hope for me. But then he heard read from Acts 2. And the Christian, Christian said, everyone who calls on the name of Jesus shall be saved. And it was said, it also is for you. Then the Holy Spirit works in his, in his life. It is hope even for me. So he became a Christian in Sweden. I don't know you who are sitting here. But I know something about you. If you call on the name of Jesus, he who died on the cross, stood up from the grave and are in heaven now, is in heaven now. For you. Then you can call on him and you will be saved. That I know about you. And take this as a comfort for you. Because May come times in our lives when we are uh, doubting, is it possible for me? Is it hope even for me? Is it hope even for me? Then you must observe um, everyone who calls. Shall be saved. That's the great message of Pentecost Day. And, and we are to cross the borders and tell it to people. There is also some borders to cross where we were. Uh, in the neighborhood, to the children in the street. Let's try to find some places we can cross the border and say something about Jesus. I thought I should see one more verse. She says, it's all right if I sing a verse to you in Norwegian. 
Because when when I listen to you here today, I feel some of the folk music uh, mentality from my childhood. Some of the old songs in Norway have a relation to that music. It's wonderful with that with that violin, uh, violin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. If you, <laughs> I think he can play Norwegian folk music. May the Jesus be laid for Gud låt den som färd vara allt till min döjande dag. Det är min högsta ära, det är min största ros, hans följes vägen över och vandra i hans ljus. Could I take it once more? <laughs> Med Jesus vill jag fara På livsens färg i lag Gud låt den som färd vara Allt till min dag Det är min högsta ära Det är min största ros, hans följes vägen över och vandra i hans ljus. Next time we will sing it together. It is about, uh, I will follow Jesus. I say so in the first two verses, two, two sentences. Nice. I will follow Jesus. God, and it's, so it's a prayer, God help me to be in that position, that relation to Jesus. Because that is my big honor. And my uh, greatest Pride. pride, pride, greatest pride, yes, pride. <laughs> to be the child of him <laughs> who has saved me. Of yes. so, thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I came here because my husband gave me a, a Christmas gift last year. And it was a visit to Karabakh. So that's the reason we are here. But at the same time, I want to greet you. As you said, we do not understand what you are talking about. And if you have noticed, we do not do the same moves as you do. So in a way, we are different. And it shows a little of the differences we have as Christians. But nevertheless, we feel the togetherness with you. We have the same joy in Jesus. Our outfit and clothing and traditions might be different. But having Jesus 
the Holy Spirit in your heart, that is what counts on the day of judgment. Aż wet te owe Jezusa je su poki mer sertumen artiok te voj da e vor piti hashvi arnavi datastani ore. Can I tell you a little story about my grandfather? In papi ki masin te zmiat pat mi tsun pat men. He was a preacher. Karozicher. And he was very fond of praying. Ushat er sil ma hotel. Uh, and we, when we visited as children, his long prayers were very tiring. He prayed for everyone, everywhere we had, where he had been the last months. But when it comes to the Prayer before uh, we are eating. But before uh, he was very short. He was very short. And he looked like he would like to have some food too. <laughs> but till today, I remember this very special thanks. But Minch, I saw yes, you that shot Yura had to show a cancer and I take it for you. God, God bless what we are going to eat and drink. Good give us a good exit of this world. And joy of the day of judgment. For Jesus' sake, Amen. Amen. And you think that was a quite strange saying. What has exit of this world and joy of the day of judgment to do with eating? But it told me one thing. It was for the sake of Jesus. Both that he could eat and be satisfied in this world. And also have confidence that on the day of judgment he will be saved for Jesus' sake. Jesus in the mouth is not enough. Uh, Jesus is the heart and in our heart that's what comes in the end. Thank you for your wonderful fellowship.